thermostatic head gives you independent temperature control of each panel and in this video we're going to demonstrate how they work. In order to demonstrate how a thermostatic head works, I've taken an old one that we've removed from the system and I'm going to break it down part by part. The first part that I'm removing is the printed dial that helps you set the temperature that you desire in the room. Now I'm removing the thermostatic head and the spring back mechanism. The thermostatic head itself is the, the metal part that you see. Inside there's a spring because the thermostatic head needs to be pushed back as it cools. It won't go back on its own. The thermostatic head senses the air temperature in the room but in this demonstration using hot water speeds up how quickly it heats up and shows clearly how the pin expands. The pin from the thermostatic head pushes down on this valve stopping the water from flowing into the radiator when it reaches temperature. The numbers on the thermostatic head are a guide, 0 being off and 5 being fully open and controlled by the main thermostat. The numbers in the middle help you adjust the temperature to suit. I suggest you start at 3 and move it up or down to suit your desired temperature in the room. The black levers help you set your own maximums and minimums. You can pull them out and place them in a different slot and slide them open or closed to function. In conclusion, a thermostatic head gives you independent control over the main thermostat of an individual panel. This is great for bedrooms where you want to adjust the temperature. 